Hello there, welcome to this course. I thank you for giving me an opportunity to teach you this beautiful art of product photography, which is so versatile in nature, not just in the way that it's done, but also its application. That's because you can use this to fulfill the needs of your clients. If you intend to do this professionally, you can also do this for your own business. For example, if you have an e-commerce website and you want to upload images of your products, or this is also a great art to learn just to improve your photography skills, because as you're going to find out, when we keep moving up the levels in this course later on, things tend to get very, very challenging. So even if you're just looking out to learn product photography for a hobby purpose, it's still a very, very great thing to do. Now, if you've done any of my other courses before, you would know that I usually, in all my courses, take a level-based approach. That means we start from something that is easy and then we keep on progressing towards something which is more difficult. We're gonna follow, obviously, a similar approach in this course also. So first of all, we will basically be tackling, tackling a very easy uh, to set up and shoot and edit shots, which are basically gonna be shots, your typical shots with the white background, with the black background. We'll be seeing how to shoot them, the different setups involved, how to edit them in Photoshop, for example, how to get those technically correct RGB white backgrounds, which those e-commerce websites demand. And the whole first section will be dedicated to just getting these basic shots absolutely correct. After that, we will start to tackle slightly more challenging issues which come up in product photography, especially in shooting products which have reflective surfaces. And trust me, that's gonna be more than 90% of the products that we shoot because all of them reflect back light. So we will be seeing how to remove reflections. We'll be tackling a lot of different products here so that we don't leave any stone unturned like glassware, plastic uh, you know, surface products. Um, utensils, and a host of other products as you're gonna find out in this course. We'll also be using a lot of different accessories in order uh, to achieve this, like you can see in front of you. Now, all this will come later, and of course, at the end of it, we also have like a creative project where we will be applying everything that we have learned in order to take a proper looking, beautiful commercial shot uh, where we are not just technically right, but it also looks pretty to the eyes, okay? So all this is coming up, but before I, you know, really start with all these things from the next video onwards. There's one very important point that I want to make straight away. In this course, we will obviously be using a lot of different product photography gear, but nothing will be more important than the choice of light. Okay, lighting is everything in product photography as you're going to find out in the videos that are coming. So one of the most important points is what light are we going to be using? So I had to make a choice here between a continuous source of light, which is basically a video light, which is always glowing. Think of it like any other light, just much stronger, or using a strobe or a flash, like how you do usually in photography, where you just, when you take your shot and you press the shutter button, your camera sync to a flash and it fires. Both have their own, adva own advantages and disadvantages, but for this course, I decided to stick to the continuous source of light, which is a video light, and there are a host of reasons why I made this choice. So before we start with this course from the next video onwards, just the next few minutes which are coming up are dedicated to explain you why I made this decision. And trust me, once you go through this a little presentation that is coming up, even you will be convinced that this is the correct decision. Let's not waste any time and let's head there. 